challenges have always been trying to match our production and stocking rates to our um, feed availability and matching that with the changing climate conditions. I think the, the Farm 300 program, it's given us a, a better understanding of I guess what changes we've made in the past and what path we're on um, is we have confidence in that being the right path. So that's the process that we do, you know, as consultants in the partial budgeting process. The group has progressed very well over the last four sessions. Um, we've been talking obviously a lot about partial utilisation as the core tool that we have to increase our profit by 10% and decrease greenhouse gas emissions by 30%. The main thing that's caught the attention of the group has been the trade-off between returns per hectare and returns per head. Increased per hectare performance is a result of increased partialisation, but sometimes it comes at the cost of per head performance. So, Creating an understanding around that trade-off has been really important to this group and has really caught their attention. One of the key things we've been helping Tom with has been his pasture assessment. Pasture assessment's a critical element to pasture budgeting, which has been you know, one of the main tools we've been using in this course to help out increase our pastureisation. So we've been going it with Tom, having a look at how he assesses pasture, where he might be going wrong, where he might be going right, and just helping calibrate to get more accurate understanding of what pasture he is out, you know, available to him at any given time. It goes from zero mm. in you know places over the other side, yeah. where it's literally bare ground, yeah. to seven thousand kilos up here. Mm. Can we rip across and take me to the bearers patch? Yeah. Like maybe on the other side of the creek, yeah. or we could walk across the creek. Yeah, yeah. No, we'll whiz across there and have a look. It's understanding how to measure the things that make up managing your pasture availability and your stocking rate, you know, well so they're, so they're matched. The skills that we've developed by doing this course is just further enhance our ability to do that and reassured us that we're confident in that what we're doing is right. The important thing for Tom to do now is to not relax on his pasture budgeting, looking for opportunities within his grazing management to either increase stocking rate in times of surplus and or maybe uh, back off his livestock when seasons are down. It has an effect at the end of the day on his overall profitability and greenhouse gas emissions intensity. We're not doing it so much as a feel-good exercise or anything. It's, it's really got financial outcomes that we're focused in on. Yeah, I hope to think that we're going to achieve those. So that's you know easy for us to measure as far as you know increasing stock numbers, increasing clean kilos of wool produced per hectare, increase of um, kilos of um, meat produced per hectare. Um, you know all of those things are easily measurable. You know there's so much information out there at the moment, and you know which ones do we use? How do we best implement them in our business? Through the education that we've gained, you know. In, in the short time we've been doing this course, if we can implement those with a better understanding of how they relate to a series of other things, we know that we're going to be better off, you know, across the board. Mm -hmm.